we will continue with our stock monitoring system. Last topic, we discuss on how to export our inventory query into Excel. Again, this is our inventory list query. So we will export this one into Excel. So we are using this button. If we click, then it will directly go to our desktop, which is this one. So it will export into Excel. Okay. Now, before we proceed into our report, we need to synchronize first our two list box. This is our search result and this is our history. So we will synchronize. If we will, let's, let's say I will type 2840. So suppose here also transaction history, it will show the whatever the transaction based on this item code or any I let's say the description or if you type item code also it will show so here as you can see if I type to it Jiri, all items it shows but if we will make it synchronize whatever we enter here or search let's say to it for zero it should be here also link with this the same item code okay now let's start here we are using search for this is the text box then on change event this is what we did in order to search that particular text that we type on search for this is the one now i will copy this one i will copy but before that i will explain to you i will copy that first then I will rename search text one I will put one because as you can see here we put some text box hidden this one search text I will make it visible first to show you with two then point two so this is our hidden search text whatever we type here automatically it will copy also here look if i type 2840 you can see here also now we will link this one whatever we type here it will link also that is why we need to put another text box so that we will also link whatever type here it must also type in here to it zero okay so again i will hide since i already show you how it works i will make it visible then i will type zero zero then to hide then this one i will remain and hide first because i will show you how it works then now i already added search text one before the other one is search text only so i will link this search text one into our list 61 Let's see, I will put here LST history so that easy for us to 
remember and this particular list box is for transaction history so l is the history and this one search result so since the raw source of this one is this query history so we will add some criteria into our query history then I will copy this criteria then I will paste here paste then instead of search text I will add here I will make it zoom here I will put one so search text one then I will highlight then I will type ctrl c or press my keyboard ctrl c to copy then here item code block this is search text one and here also search text one this is our transaction form this is the one this one and here search text one this is the one search text one okay now i will close will open so still even i will type still it will not link look as you can see not yet link with our search search box then we will go to here search for then event on change here i will copy then I will put one here and here I will copy then I will put one but still I choose search for because we are typing our search using this search for text box that is why it's still showing here and here I will copy then paste I will put here one and BB search string I will put also one and of course here I will just copy then I will go this list box I will copy this list box name L to avoid any spelling error so this is our new search to link our history then here I will copy I will just modify to one here one then here one then last we need also to copy this one so whatever we select on or we select in on a search form it will fill also or link into our history with the first item search history here all LST history okay so it's the same search result focus we will just only focus our cursor into our search for not this one we'll debug Okay, there's no issue. So everything is fine. Let's double check. 
key now will open.